Every blade of grass turns with its own angel. Every breath we make churns your heart beats. A child becomes a father's man in the ocean's cradle. A wave is a wave is a wave, regardless our defeats. My name is Wang Ping. I'm a poet, prose writer, photographer, among all other things. This is what I wanted to do all my life, to be a writer, to be a poet. To be a poet, you have to be courageous, you have to be a warrior first. You have to be brutally honest with yourself and with the truth, and you cannot lie. Our lungs harden from quartz crystals. Our lives weigh less than dust. I was born in Shanghai, which is the mouth of the Yangtze River. Then I went to the countryside when I was 14 years old and uh, to be a farmer. And to be a farmer in China is a totally different story than a farmer here. It's all machine, everything was done manual. Life was really, really, really hard. It was really indeed a back-breaking labor, but that was also when and where I learned what it means to be with the earth, to be with the water. When I moved to St. Paul, my first uh, loft uh, was actually Tilsner Art Building. Sixth floor, the corner, overlooking the entire downtown St. Paul and the uh, huge stretch of the Mississippi. And I just so in love with the river. When I row in the river, that is the most peaceful, the happiest moment in my life. And I just feel so grateful. So I wanted to give something back to the river. We are at Yinghua Academy, and this is a Chinese charter school. So I'm here to conduct Kingship River poetry and river flag workshop. I am the waves, I crash and flow. I am the current, I make the water go. Kingship of Rivers is an international river project which tries to build bridges between the Mississippi and the Yangtze River. Now I want you to visualize the river from inside. Just anything that comes to your mind first about rivers will be your poem. The children okay. write their own poems on the flags and then I would string them together in the manner of the Tibetan prayer flags. The Tibetans believe in those high mountains. There are sacred spirits there. So they would hand those flags. So I borrowed that concept. And I thought I want to have as many people's good wishes and their imagination and their creativity on that 11 by 17 fabric. Now we have like about a thousand flags from public school, from children, elementary school, junior high, high school, college, senior centers, professional art galleries and museums. My basement is basically set up for hand dye and then I have to measure, then cut, and then have to iron each fabric. <laughs> it's a lot of work, <laughs> but it's fun work. Okay, very beautiful. Children, of course, they are always children. They just create such beautiful images, just unbelievable. I'm hoping to go for like 2,000 flags. I will install them along the river, first Mississippi, then I will bring them to the Yangtze River next year, 
as the gift and good wishes from the Mississippi. And I will leave about half of them in Tibet. So all the people's good wishes will flood in the wind and will travel from the roof of the world. And then I will bring the rest back here to do the final installation. They really carry a lot of power and joy. As soon as like, you unfold the flags, you hand them up, people are just so joyful and just inspired. It's really moving. This is the gift I owed you from future and past. This is my skin in the river, wild and fast. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.